Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about Amazon Connect, how to use uh, uh, Lambda for the web service call. Now, if you go back to our call flow, right? So over here, once user says, I want to check uh, what is the India COVID status, right? So over here, uh, we have an API. So this is the uh, API from the India web government website. So if I open this one, right? Uh, till this point okay so we get the what is the active what are the discharge what are the dates and vaccinations and all these details from the indian ministry website right now for that they have this api call is there which we are going to consume to get real time data right now how to do that so first step is uh, we will go to our lex oh sorry connect okay so over here uh, we are checking for india status so this is the one right so what we will do is remove this one and instead of that we will call a oopsie we will call the intrigate and invoke aws lambda okay now which lambda to call so for that we have to create a lambda right so let's say go ahead and create a lambda so let's say call uh, india covid status okay i will create the node.js you can prefer any language that you want i will use the node.js for now and rest of the details i will keep it as it is i will create the create function okay now to write what exactly we have to write what we will do is we will go to postman okay so this is uh, one of the greatest help tool created by someone abhinav postman wiki if you don't know him follow his linkedin page postman wikipedia all right so this was created by someone name not this one postman astana yeah Abhinav Astana. So he created the postman as a side track, right? And after that, uh, it became such a big tool. So if you don't know, uh, read about postman, how Abhinav started it as a side track and how it has become one of the greatest tool which is used by from Google to uh, even the NASA for any of the API call. Anyway, uh, closing this one. Okay, so we will go to Postman. I will have already copied the, I will paste it over here. And since it is a get call and I will make a send request, I can see that the values are over here. If you see in the bottom, right? So whatever the number is there, 431790. If I go back to the website, uh, is it missing something? Yeah, sorry, this one is the latest one, new. New date is 5116505 discharge and QOD is 4247 all this and active is 23807. So this is the real time data we are getting. Now how to use this one in our code. Okay. Now we have already created a Lambda right over here. You can see over here. Now the challenge is we have to make a web service call for that either we required a request or http request call uh, or axis is there axios and native is there so i will use the axios okay so this is the code which we have now there are basic steps which we have to perform okay so first of all uh, i will go over here and create a folder let's say let's name it uh, lambda okay Now what I have to do is first in your system Node.js has to be installed, okay, to perform this uh, activity. So what I will do is npm init, okay. So what it is doing is generating uh, the basic project setups like what exactly will be the name of the package, which version, description I will leave it as it is. Index.js is the our entry point. Test command I don't have. GitHub I don't have. So I don't have all these details and i will say yes so what it will do is it will create you the package.json okay now what i will do is create uh, index.js 
of C to remove the dot txt. Okay. Now in this, uh, before going, I have to install npm install. Which one we are using? Axios. So I will paste it over here. Now it will install the necessary packages and put it into the package.json. While you do that, we will go over here, right click, edit the notepad. Okay. Now, if you go over here, copy the text which we got from the create lambda function, paste it over here. Okay. Now, what I will do so, over here, I will just copy the code which is there instead of this response I will have my code over here let's do a little bit of formatting tab okay and this one right copy and paste now also I have uh, the code already been created to parse the lambda so that we get the exact value so I will add those thing over here in the successful response okay so one is not required okay so what we have done is we have created this uh, index.js we have created a folder we have installed the necessary package uh, is installed okay so this work is done i will go back to the parent folder and right click and send to zip so i got the zip now why I did these steps is because uh, Lambda does not install any uh, prerequisite Lambda, uh, not Lambda, uh, the NPM packages or Node.js packages that you require. So you have to create everything in your local repository and give the package.js or perform the installation and so that it will create a folder for you, something called Node modules. and that is what uh, lambda use uh, when it's executing uh, your code okay so uh, i have uploaded that uh, lambda okay so what it will do is it will overwrite everything which is there okay so you can see that my code is over here and everything which we have wrote is there now if you see that there is a new folder structure right so if i let's create one test event Right now we are not passing any value, so I will just name it uh, test. Click on save. Okay. Uh, since we are not passing any value, it's just uh, we invoke the API, we get the result directly. We don't have to pass any parameters like for country or any separation, segregation that we require, right? So it should work. Now when I click on test, it will fail because right now it will not able to find the index handler. Okay. Now for that, you have to go down, click on the, this uh, runtime settings. Since the now folder structure is something like inside of Lambda, right? Earlier it was parent folder and then index.js was there. So what we will do is we will point to there. So over here, just write Lambda and uh, forward slash, click on save. So now it will able to find the, uh, what is that, uh, index.js. Now, if I run on click, uh, just a second, if I have missed, oh, okay, yeah. One more thing. So, uh, when we execute a particular event, right, it is always going uh, to be asynchronous. So, we have to write await. So, once we write await, click on save, click on deploy again. And... Uh, we are good to test now if you see that i got the value right so these are the values which we got and this is a final returning object that we are getting so active is there positive is there cured and death is there okay now how to use this one so we have created a lambda with name india covid status so now what i will do is i will go to my amazon connect page okay it loads over there We'll go to our instance. Okay, I will go to contact flow. 
So in the contact flow, like similarly what we did for the legs, we added the legs, right? Similarly, there is a lambda section is there. So we have to add that lambda and click on the add lambda function. So now you can use this lambda in your contact flow. Okay. Now over here, uh, we will go select the drop down. We can see now India COVID status is here. I will click on save uh, this over here. And now we have to consume. Like uh, once it has written you the value, right? We have to assign it to some variable, right? So what are the variables? So let's say active, right? And I will go over here uh, in my execution. So I can see active over here. I will copy active value. Let's say let's have it like a little bit better. You have to use external, okay? and give the return value object name we will have few more so this is active and sorry not over here we have po positive so i will give my value as positive value go to over here click on external click on positive and i think one more we have is let's have only cured okay don't dis want to display death do we are we displaying that uh discharge and all this thing okay uh capital c value okay and click on external it is this one and click on save okay now we want to play back or display this message, right? So I will copy this date. Uh, we are not getting the date. I have to change that uh, one. But for now, let's uh, okay. So let's paste it over here. Okay, India COVID status as on let's uh, right now for I hard coded 23rd March active status is so we had what is that dollar dot attributes dot what happened why there is no dollar dot active hmm. what happened to my keyboard okay active value okay Similarly, we have something called uh, discharge. Discharge was what? Uh, discharge will be cured, right? Cured. Oops. Cured. Oops. And we don't get the vaccination number. Okay, so let's skip it like that. Our um, active status not actives total number of active cases are and out of we have discharge okay uh, discharge and this thing click on save and click on disconnect to event okay click on publish publish now what we will do we will go to our uh, that test chat again we'll click on that test chat icon and let's see if it is working what is India COVID status so it will go to the lambda and we are supposed to get the response but uh, why we didn't got the response oh we got the response oh we got the response as blank why so let's see again did we get called so if i go to monitor cloudwatch monitor so this is how we can do the debug so over here in under the monitor sections in the lambda you can watch the real-time logs so and meanwhile let me check if there is no typo 
dot attributes and dot attributes okay seems to be fine okay so we go back to our last call 1936 no that's not correct why is showing 1936 oh sorry 2019 okay so that may be the correct one so we got uh, 2024 this will be the latest one right so we got the value so we can see that it got called uh, we have passed the info in the event so many is there where is the okay we have not printed the event so i can see nothing wrong over here now let's go back to the call flow uh we got success is it active value active external positive and cured as this one is it external okay all seems to be right uh why it is not working maybe there is some error so let's point to another one if there is a error we will play over here something like error and disconnect the call okay now test it again What is India COVID status? TATUS. Okay, we are still not getting the value. Okay, now I have to debug. Hang on. Okay, so I have found the issue. Uh, the issue was uh, when calling from Amazon Connect, right? We have to call back functions, right? So if you go over here, right, uh, I have added two parameters. One is the context and callback in the code. Okay. Similarly, instead of the response object directly returning, right, we have to call the response object and pass that uh, whatever the object we want to return via callback. Okay. Now, once you do that, uh, click on deploy and then we will go back to our test functionality. Click on the test uh again we are testing the same flow uh, how can i tell uh, what is that india covid status okay now over here you can see that now we are getting the value active cases as this one and uh out of whatever that is discharge is this one uh so yeah this is how we can integrate uh, amazon connect with uh we uh, have service using lambda uh, and if you have any questions or query just put in the comment section as always like and subscribe to the video thank you